Hello, I'm Stuart Blythe from Michigan State University. And I'm Danielle DeVos, also from Michigan State University. Stuart and I are senior researchers with the WIDE Research Center, Writing in Digital Environments. If you want to learn more about the center and its projects, you can head to wide.msu.edu. Recently, we invited you to consider participating in a research study we're conducting. Specifically, we asked if you would forward a survey link to graduates from your program and invite them to participate. The survey is designed to provide a nationwide snapshot of the writing lives of recent graduates of professional writing programs. And we wanted to share with you today a snapshot of this survey for two reasons. First, we want to give you a sense of what we're asking your graduates, your alums, to participate in and do. And second, we think that the survey has some pretty unique and interesting features as a research tool, and we wanted to share those features with you. When participants head to the survey, they'll be given some context for the study, including a discussion of why we're doing this survey and of confidentiality and anonymity. As we mentioned in our correspondence to you, we've been given institutional review board approval for this research, and a system is in place to ensure participant confidentiality. In this initial section of the survey, we ask a few demographic questions for statistical purposes. The first major section of the survey focuses on employment history. Notice how the survey is adaptive. That is, the way questions appear is based on responses to earlier questions. We hope this makes the survey experience more streamlined for participants. Not only is it the survey adaptive, but the survey is designed to self-populate for efficiency and accuracy. For instance, in the industry portion of the work section, if I type in fishing, the survey will auto-populate with the more typical agricultural, forestry, fishing, and hunting designation. The next three sections focus on the writing respondents do and have done, why they've done it, who they've done it for, in which context they've produced it, and more. We also ask respondents to indicate what types of writing they value the most. The next three sections focus on the writing respondents do and have done, the writing respondents do most often, and the writing respondents find most valuable. Another feature we want to highlight is how, for instance for this particular question, participants are invited to drag and drop the five types of writing they do the most. Rather than a typical ranking system, the survey is more intuitive in responding. Once respondents have chosen the top five types of writing that they do most often and that they value most often, they will be asked a series of questions focusing on each type of writing. We hope that this quick introduction has given you a sense of how the survey works. We hope you'll agree to participate and to share the survey link with your graduates. We value and appreciate your help in doing so. We hope that you'll not only distribute this survey, but also see yourselves as a co-researcher in this work. We imagine that this survey will yield important data regarding the writing that all of our alumni do, and we plan to make the survey data available to everybody at its close. If you have any questions at all about the research project, the survey, or sharing the survey URL, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your help.